First, let me congratulate you because if you responded to this podcast, your meetings are too long. That means you're having team meetings. So congratulations. That is step number one. Uh, That's what's got to take place. Hey, it's Scott Beebe with the Business on Purpose podcast. Let's chat for a little bit so that you can be liberated from the chaos of working in your business and start really building something that makes time for what matters most. There's a high likelihood that if you are having team meetings, which I hope you are, agenda-driven, leader-led, weekly at minimum, and just as a reminder, we do four meetings a week. We do three daily huddles, five to 10 minutes each. We're a virtual team, all virtual, so no excuses if uh, you got people all around the place. Uh, So we're all virtual too, so not a big deal. But we do three daily huddles, and then we do one full team meeting for one hour. And it sometimes might go an hour and 15 minutes. But in most cases, what we found is your meeting is too long. Now, not in every case. And so the question of the Heroic Small Business Owners conference room that I just got out of was, how do I make these things shorter? I want to make them pop. I want them to be powerful, but I want to make them shorter. And so a couple little tips for you that you can embed today. You can start doing these right away to make your team meetings really pop and also make them timely, which is crucially important because you want to make sure uh, that you're allowing room and space for your team to get back to what it is they do best. The first thing, you may want to look at the timing of your meeting, like the actual day or the time of day, because in this particular case, this meeting included salespeople and what they ended up figuring out was their the time they met was actually kind of prime selling time. And so they're going to move their meeting because it was also a fine prime phone call time. They're getting a lot of phone calls during this time. So they're going to move a meeting and they're going to kind of look at their week and find the heat map of the week and schedule where they have the fewest calls come in and where they have the fewest number of sales opportunities that typically hit during that time. And they're going to place their meeting during that time. Then what they're going to do is they're going to, and if you want a very detailed overview of something that's really powerful, how a simple team meeting can be run at a high-powered rate, you can read the book American Icon about the CEO, Alan Mulally of CE, uh, Ford Motor Company, I believe from 2006 until maybe 13 or 14 or something like that. He runs what he calls a BPR, and it's a business performance review meeting. Now, we've actually got a couple of small businesses that are doing this, and the way they're doing it is they're actually doing slides And on the slides, every person has to present their own slides. Real simple. It's either green, yellow, or red. That's it. With a little comment box underneath. Green, yellow, or red. And each business uh, team member has about uh, three or four or five areas that they report on. And they pull up the slides, and the slide's either green, yellow, or red. And it's got the comment box below it. Red means I have no plan, and I'm not on that plan that I don't have. Yellow means I have a plan, but I'm not I'm not to plan yet. And it could be for just random reasons. Not, you're not in trouble for it. Maybe just somebody, you know, the time hasn't come. I've got a plan. We're meeting on Thursday, but Thursday's not here yet. So that's still yellow. A green means I've got a plan and I'm on plan. And that's one way to do it. You can just pick a simple metric for each area of the business. If you don't know what areas you have, you're going to have marketing, you're going to have sales, you're going to have operations, and you're going to have accounting or administration. So pick one or two major metrics from those areas. For instance, if you're, if the area is leads, for you it might be the number of phone calls. For somebody else it might be the number of web leads. For somebody else it might be the number of word of mouth referrals, whatever that looks like. Pick a metric for each one and then ask a team member to simply report on that metric within a six minute time frame. Set a timer. Yes, set a timer. Do it. I know it's going to feel weird. Laugh about it. Have some fun with it. But set a timer because when you do, it's going to condition the team that this time is valuable. It's very valuable and we're not taking it for granted. Really important to be able to do that. So set a timer, pick a couple of metrics, review those metrics, set a time limit, put it on an agenda and stick to the agenda. And once that agenda is, once that time limit's up, you're done. Even if you're not done, you're done. Come back, do better next week and try to hold within that time. Hey, I know you may be shaking your head, go Scott, it'll never work. You're right. If you don't try it, it will never work. So give it a try. Let me know how you do. And we'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast, mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision.